In this video, we'll use the Ply and Automation platform to compare the current security updates on our CentOS 7 servers with the updates that Red Hat has made available since August 1st. The workflow will then create change request tickets for each of the servers in ServiceNow. Once approved, the changes will be applied to the servers. Lastly, we'll update the change request ticket with the committed changes to those servers and close the change ticket automatically. We've broken this demo up into two workflows to show the different functionality. In the real world, they'd be combined together in one end-to-end -end flow for the server admin. On the left side of my screen, you can see the Pliant Automation Platform. And the first block you see here is the HTTP request we used because it's the simplest way really to get the vulnerabilities down from Red Hat's site. We did a query that said, hey, give me everything after August 1st. And then we load that into an array of data, which we then compare to the servers, the information running on our particular servers. So we run through the automation platform, we loop through each of our IPs of our servers, and we compare what we got from Red Hat to what's running. At the bottom of this workflow, you'll see the output. We'll see that we have three servers that need to be patched, and we'll see that this pango.x86 is the patch that's needed. On the right side of my screen, you see the change request window. If I update this, you'll see now that we've automatically updated or created actually three tickets that are, represent the changes that need to be made on each of our three servers. If I click on any one of these change requests, we can see that uh, it has been recreated. We can see that it's the update. We provide the description of what we want to update or the patch that we want to update to. And then over here on the right, I can actually set the ticket to assess. This is part of my ServiceNow workflow that allows me to sign it to a group of individuals who can go and take a look at that patch and make sure that it's something that we really want to do. Once I've assigned it to those individuals, uh, they will come in here, they'll take a look. If they all agree that the patch is really required, we can go. they'll go ahead and prove it. Once that happen, happens, it actually goes to my change board. So now even more people get to look to make sure that this is really something we want to do in the environment. And if they agree in the change board meeting, uh, they'll select approve. And at that point, the ticket is ready to go. It's ready to actually be acted on. As I mentioned, in the real world, this would be all one smooth motion, but we've decided to break it up into two to show the different functionality. One, the ability to check for vulnerabilities. The other was to go ahead and run the actual patches and update the ticket. So on the left now, I have the workflow that actually has the blocks, which is going to go through and update the servers and update our change management ticket. So if I come back into my change management ticket and I go down and I go to my change task and I look at the task, uh, we'll see here that the state is open and now I want to run my workflow to actually patch my servers and update ServiceNow. So we can see that ServiceNow has been updated with the starting update. And as we work through the patches on the server, uh, we'll update this ticket. If we're successful, we'll actually put in the message that we're successful and we'll automatically close out the ticket. There we go. The server's been updated successfully. The state of the ticket was now changed to closed. So in this demo, we've been able to show our ability to go grab the current vulnerability or patches for vulnerabilities in Red Hat CentOS 7 servers, compare what's running on our CentOS server to that vulnerability list, open a ticket in ServiceNow with the exact patch that needs to be applied, work through the approval process, and then apply the patch to the servers, updating the status in the ServiceNow ticket and closing this out, all with the use of several very easy to build workflows in Pliant. Pliant is a low code solution that provides building block or action blocks as we like to call them for hundreds of different vendors, including Red Hat, uh, ServiceNow and many others. And these blocks enable our users to quickly build complicated workflows like the one in this video.